Right, it's time for Straight Talker of the Week. Now, sometimes the language on the pledge can get a little bit, how should I put it, Neanderthal? Yeah, that's you again. We all know who it is. But according to a professor in artificial intelligence, swearing, Nick, is actually good for you, right. Greg. There we go. I'll share it around a bit. <laughs> now, Dr Emma Byrne says, I argue using peer-reviewed science whatever that is, that swearing is both big and clever. It's likely to have been one of the first forms of language that we developed. And since then, it's been helping us to deal with pain, work together, manage our emotions and improve our minds. So, for that insight, Dr Emma Byrne, you are this week's Straight Talker of the Week. Which is marvellous news, because that means next week I can call Nick... <laughs> you <laughs> of workplace harmony, Nick. <laughs> You're a total. I say all that. Right? <laughs> I never thought my language would be so. <laughs> I never thought I'd be seen as refined, but now I'm working with you, exactly. lot. God. So back to caveman. You can imagine yeah. being, <laughs> being whacked by a. By well, a... the caveman whacks his foot. <laughs> you know, you can imagine the language. I refuse it? to partake in such filth. So. <laughs> well, that's it for this week. See you next time. You. <laughs> <laughs>